welcome back to my channel. My name is Winter and for today's video, it's going to be a skincare video. Right now, I have zero makeup on and I look kind of crappy. So I just can't wait to pile stuff for my face. But my skin has been clearing up lately because I'm on Accutane and my favorite skincare has been working magic. So magic. Magic on my skin. So now it's pretty clear. I do have a little bit of breakout but that's not too bad already. Without further ado, let's get into my skincare routine. So every day in the morning, the first thing that I'll do is to cleanse my face. So right now I'm using the Medicube Red, Red something cleanser. I don't know, I'll insert a photo here. But that's what I'm using right now. After that, I will move on to toning my face. And this is something really strange but I highly recommend. It is the Swiss Papers 18 Makeup Pad. These are one of the best cotton rounds that I've ever used. The pads are like of great quality. They are not that fluffy wooly thing. I hate those. And you can only get this in Guardian. And then for toner, my favourite toner is the Clinique Anti-Blemish Solutions Clarifying Lotion. So it has a white powder inside down here and when you, you're supposed to shake it up, mine's already shaked up and I'm almost done because this is so good. So it has like an alcohol formula so if you are not um, keen on having alcohol in your product, you might want to skip this toner but this worked wonders for my skin, it helps to control the oil, it helps to clean up all the gunk in my pores so I really really love it. So what I'll do is to just swipe it in an upward motion like so every day in the morning and at night and just to refresh my skin and clean everything. Next up, I'm going in with L'Occitane's Divine Youth Oil and I know people are really afraid that if you have oily skin, why are you putting oil on your face? This is different, it's not oily and it instantly absorbs into your skin. So the reason why I use the Divine Youth Oil is because it actually helps to amplify the effectiveness of your skincare product on top of this. So this is my first step before going in into my other skincare. So just do like one to two drops on the palms of your hand. Then I'll rub it to warm it up and press it into my skin. And it smells really really good so instantly it just absorbs and there's no oily or sticky feeling right, the next one that i'll use is the fresh black tea kombucha facial treatment essence so this is super good i rave about this on my instagram on my favorites product video because it really helps to combat like pollution oh my god my niece is here <laughs> so you just pat it into your skin say hi what's your name she shared today you learn that. Uh, kiss, kiss. Hi, you blood kiss. <laughs> so, so sorry for that commercial break. Every weekend it happens. So I'll just pat the facial treatment essence into my skin both day and night and instantly you can see like that glow and it has been giving me this natural glow that it's not fake by makeup and I really really love it. Now on to my holy grail skincare that is the only thing that keeps my skin from breaking out. It is the Idea Skincare Pore Formula. So this might be a little bit strong for some people because I know that there are some people that will break out from it but my skin needs it so if I don't use this, I will break out. So if you have like really bad acne prone skin, definitely go and try this out. Um, go get it checked out or something because it's really, really, really my saviour and I tried leaving a month without it and my skin was like horrifying. I was prescribed to use this only on the sides of my face and the chin and on my T-zone so I don't have breakouts on my forehead so I skipped that. And then the next product from IDS that I really love is the C Plus Serum. So basically this is a highly concentrated vitamin C serum. So if you're prone to acne, you'll know that the scarring this will help to minimize your scarring and make it less dark in a way and I realized that it definitely helped to brighten up my skin as well and give it a luminous glow so I apply it all over my face I just rub it in and ensure that everything is absorbed into my skin so I don't do that kind of petting motion because clearly I don't have time for it and to be honest I don't know how effective it is to like slap your face maybe it gives you like blood circulation I don't know but this is just what I do and I feel that it has enough benefits for me already so yeah I'm not gonna slap my face <laughs> so because I feel like I'm aging like I do have a little bit of tiny wrinkles on my forehead I'm going to in with the Kiehl's powerful strength line reducing concentrate and this is really really effective like 
I could see like a strong glow on my face the first time I used this and I don't know I know for oily skin people you guys are like worried about glow and everything but if your skin is glowing naturally that is the most ideal skin and that is when you know that your skin is properly hydrated and properly nourished so yeah most of the time you have oily skin because you are not moisturizing enough so definitely moisturize your skin properly and have good skincare so I'll apply it around this area because this is where fine lines tend to appear and around my small lines and then on my forehead so and you can feel a slight tingling sensation whenever you apply it and I really really love it plus it smells delicious so here go kills <laughs> and moving on if I have any active breakout or blemishes I'll use the Clinique Anti-Blemish Solutions Clearing Gel so this is super effective but it's also very painful so if you have like an open wound it will hurt like a bitch but the next day it will be flat so I think the pain is worth it <laughs> usually I'll also use the Idea Spot Control because it's really effective as well but I ran out of it and I haven't got time to replenish it so after all this like medical goodness for the skin I'm going in to moisturize so my favorite moisturizer at the moment is the YSL Or Rouge I can't pronounce this but apparently this is super pricey I got it from the YSL event and I really really love it like even though it's a super nourishing moisturizer, just one pump is enough by the way because this shit is so pricey. And I'll just dot it over my face and it doesn't make you look oily at all and it really keeps your skin hydrated, plumped up and nourished throughout the entire day. And, and I definitely did see results after using this. Like my skin looks more youthful, I feel rejuvenated in a way and like people are commenting that I look better so... I don't know, this was the only thing that I changed up in my skincare recently and I really really love it and if the results are like visible to people around me, I guess it's working its magic, like it's definitely worth the price tag. <laughs> if I decided to skip on my YSL moisturizer, the other moisturizer that I really love is the Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. I used to not like this because it was too heavy for my skin. Like. I would be super oily by the end of the day but recently after eating Accutane, I need something stronger and this has been working magic for my skin as well so I definitely I definitely do get the height of the magic cream and this is really really good. Then after moisturizer, I would go in with the Innisfree Bija Sika Balm so this will help to protect my skin against any pollutants in the environment and it gives like a shield for the entire day so that your skin doesn't get irritated by all the dust and all that nonsense in the air so I don't use an eye cream because I tend to get milia seeds as well so I totally skip that shit out last but not least it's sunblock and this is my favorite sunblock of all time it is the Estelle Perfect UV Clear Solution and it has an SPF 50 protection and it's a pink base so it really helps to balance out your skin tone and protect your skin against the harmful UV rays. So I wore this to the beach and my body was so badly burnt even though I was using sunblock but the only thing that stayed unharmed was my face so I guess this is really working. It smells like roses by the way so I really really love it and I just can't help but use this all the time. So that's the end of my skincare regime so it's a little bit extensive. I used to just tone my face and put on moisturizer but Ever since I got more into skincare, more into beauty, I realized the importance of taking care of your skin and preventing is actually better than cure. I know everything, every time I say this, but it's really true. So this so, is why I highly, highly, highly emphasize on good skincare because if you have a good skincare, it will actually prevent lots of problems from occurring and look at my acne, like it's controlled just because of skincare. So yeah, these little extra steps really makes a big difference and all we want is this nice youthful glow and you can easily achieve it as well so yeah thank you guys for watching and hope you guys love it and if you have any video suggestions any comments leave it down in the comments box down below give this video a thumbs up if you like it and i'll see you guys in my next one bye